We were hoping things would progress smoothly. That's right. A common, ordinary progression would have been just fine. Like, for example, the enemy's layer crumbling right after you defeat the final boss, or your dead friend suddenly reappearing. It would have been just fine if things had progressed like that. That's the kind of old-school progression we were hoping for. Not this unreasonable turn of events. <sighs> you look ridiculous, my dude. Jeez, you guys are a strange lot. You all have such big white eyes. Oh, perhaps you all have fallen in love with this metallic body of mine. I already know what you want to say just by looking in your eyes. Then again, I am a former team manager. What happened? You look like you've seen a ghost or something. Hey man, don't go scaring Missoni with that strange-ass mask. As he ranged his stammering voice, Kazuichi grabbed on the Nekomaru's head end. Come on, take it off! Ow, 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 ow! Stop it! Stop it! Huh? Why won't it come off? Wait, what? Are you freaking kidding me? Holy crap, it's not just for show! It's not just for show, it's pure electricity! I've been reborn as pure electricity! If you're seriously Nekomaru, that's my fault, right? You ended up getting a body like that and it's my fault, right? Sorry, Nekomaru. I I don't know how to apologize for this. Yeah, don't worry about it. A lot of stuff happens when you're alive. You're too upbeat. Is this really okay? If you keep sweating the small stuff, you're going to end up getting more gray hairs. Commenting on every little thing he does is a waste of time. But you're really Nekomaru, right? You came back for us, right? That's right. I've resurrected from the depths of hell in shining silver. How are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to my eye patch. He just wanted to one-up you, dude. How can you accept that body? It's better to just be alive. It's better to just be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive, I can still talk to you all. If I'm alive, I can still fight. Doesn't matter what happens to my body, not one bit. You're amazing. Nakamaru is brimming with hope. It's better to just be alive. I do understand what Nakamaru is saying, but no matter how much how we make sense of this, it's just too weird. This is a novel or a movie. This is Danganronpa. Can something this unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No. Instead, why did this happen? Anyway, I'm glad. That's fine, right? Right? Nekomaru definitely came back to us. My, my, am I touching, interrupting your touching reunion? Why is Nekomaru a robot? Unfortunately, it was truly difficult to save Nekomaru from the jaws of death. But they don't call me the Psychopop Magician for nothing. I'd love to see who actually calls you that. Oh my goodness, such a wonderful before and after has occurred. It appears to be a little too dramatic. Thanks to that, I'm getting stabbed by all these envious stares. Hey, if you're really a robot, what's going on with your thought process? Is that a program too? Then what happened to the other stuff, like your self-awareness and... Fool, how many times do I have to tell you that doesn't matter? No matter what shape or form I take, I am Nekomaru Nadai. Is he? Is he gonna power through the rest of his life with his new abilities? That kind of reaction... It looks like you're really self-aware. That means this technology is insane! I've never seen or heard anything like this before! But a, the commoner considers advanced is not much of an advancement. If you think advancements exist in colleges and laboratories, that's a huge misunderstanding. The real, inv the real advancements exist in the place where you can pass on that talent. And you're saying that's you? Were you really that amazing? Stop admiring him! 
You stupid stuffed toy. Don't go swimming with people's bodies like that. Hold on. If you harm Arnakuma, you're going to... Do you intend to defy me yet again? You're quite the barbarian. This time, you're definitely going to fall prey to my Monazu... Monokuma's... B -b definitely going to fall prey to my Monokuma bazooka. Are you... Did this really happen again? I heard that voice lead again. He's gotten an upgrade, holy shit. Are you fucking serious? He took that blast and doesn't have a single scratch. Awesome, he's seriously a real robot. Hey, can you let, can you let me disassemble you? Can you let me disassemble you and show me your insides? No, thank you. If I get disassembled, I'll end up dying. Uh, I suppose I should fill you in. Even though he's a robot now, if Nekamaru is killed, it's going to count as a murder, okay? Of course, it's possible that Nekamaru might kill someone instead. Don't say such foolish things. That'll never happen. Well, with all that in mind, you guys enjoy the killing school trip together. Once again, I hope we can get along. It's impossible. It's going to be a while before I can mentally process this. Uh, will ne Nekamaru never return to his original form? If that's the case, it's a burden for Nekamaru. Hey, hey, it's not like I came back as a monster. I'm just a robot now, you know? I'm sorry, I can't really see a difference. Well, just consider this a little promotion. By making a robot one of the main characters, a genuine mystery is transformed into a sci-fi mystery. And the hard-boiled is transformed into the cyberpunk. You're totally destroying the genres. Oh, well, who cares? As long as it's fun, it's totally fine. As I listened to Monokuma's boisterous laugh, once again I was forced to accept that drugs would be easier to explain than the entirety of this story. This island is not the day-to-day -day world I know. It's a mad world where the strange is accepted as normal. Causes, reasoning, circumstances, foreshadowing. These things don't apply here at all. That's what it meant to, li to live in a mad world. Oh, we're in a castle now. Do ultimate robots dream of clockwork? Weird question, but okay. The next morning, we gathered at the hotel restaurant like we always do. Man, the food today was awesome as usual. As always, you sure do eat a lot. I feel relaxed just by looking at you. It's impossible not to worry about it. No matter what, this feels really strange. It's not something I'll get used to easily. Anyway, what are you going to do, Mechamaru? Uh, Mechamaru? You're used to him already? What am I going to do? For food. Do you need, like, oil? Regular? Premium? Nah, he doesn't need oil. Since he said he's pure electricity, maybe he's battery power or something. I can only eat normal food, especially rice dishes. I can't keep my eyes off of them. <laughs> However, I've been feeling a little down today, so I don't have much of an appetite. Are you malfunctioning? If you show me your insides, I can fix you up, you know. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> what, so you're here too? <laughs> uh, sorry. I should know my place and not speak out of turn when everyone's gathered together like this. However, I just want to make sure I spoke to you about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Hmm. That person Mikan called her beloved. I can't help thinking about that and it won't get out of my head. What? Uh, am I just a coward for worrying about that? You. It crossed my mind as well, but based on how she phrased it... So this is the end. This is really... And now I can go to my beloved and be forgiven. I can finally see my beloved. Please forgive me as my hopes of finally seeing you die with me. It was as if she was speaking to an entity that does not exist in this world. Now there's nothing to worry about. More importantly, we should be thinking about the future Foundation, our enemy. 
If that fearsome organization, also known as the World Ender, is truly responsible for our imprisonment, then investigating who's behind that organization is our top priority. Future Foundation, hmm? That word, future. Does it have anything to do with that ancient ruin? I mean, there's no doubt that the symbol on the door to the ancient ruin was the Japanese word for future. If that's the case, it might be better if we investigate the ancient runes again later. However, the more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Why would an organization that's secretly plotting to end the world make us suffer like this? They went to a lot of trouble to abduct us and bring us to this island. Mm. Not only that, they took away several years worth of memories of our lives at Hope Speak Academy. That, for reasons that are also unknown. Yeah. Future Foundation, World Ender, ha! That's obviously something wrong with you if you believe in something so unrealistic. You're a robot. Boy, boy. But what we should be most concerned about, as it relates to the Future Foundation, so is the traitor from the Future Foundation that's hiding among us. I wonder who it is. The true identity of the outsider hiding among us and trying to ensnare us. Nagato's obviously the most suspicious, though. See, he is, but he's not. <laughs> Even a childless organization blathering about ending the world wouldn't accept someone like me. Uh... Nobody wants a worthless human like me to join their group. <laughs> you guys should know that feeling well, right? <laughs> and that's the reason why you're not the traitor? I don't understand your theory at all. Huh? Then, who do you think is the most suspicious? I nominate Hajime! Why? Huh? Well, isn't it normal to doubt the most unlikely candidate? Not just that, you're the only one here who still doesn't know what ultimate talent you possess. If we're basing this on the outsider hiding among a group of ultimates, Hajime should be doubted right away. Then, Hajime is the traitor? Of course not! What are you even saying? You shouldn't raise your voice like that. We might even come we might become even more suspicious of you, you know? Look, I get it. I get where you're coming from. But shut up. This is obviously your fault. Yes, ma'am. Don't you think fighting with ourselves like this is Monokuma's trap? That might be true, but yeah. Alright, I'll handle those. Just leave this matter to me. What do you mean? To eliminate this tense atmosphere, allow me to present you to my to you my new function that I discovered last night. Huh? New function? Are you a lie detector now? Yeah. Don't tell me. Is it flight? Can you fly? Yeah. It's not a conver conventional function like that. It's far more practical and novel. Yes, now then, let's go. Yeah. Are you crying? Behold! <laughs> Nekamaru is crying. Hardly, I'm not crying. My right eye dispenses cola. And my left eye dispenses rooibos tea. What are you, a soda fountain? I know we'll be here all day if we keep commenting on every little thing you do. But what the hell was Monokuma thinking giving you a function like that? That guy, he's definitely fooling around. Monokuma's just toying with other people's bodies. I too was modified by Monokuma, so I totally understand how Nekamaru feels. But don't be depressed, you'll get used to it. It's surprising how quickly you'll get used to it. Don't go button in our conversation all of a sudden. I'll kill you until you die from it, you stupid rabbit. That's an extremely violent thing to say to someone. You show up at this time means... Did you come as to tell us you defeated another Mono Beast? Ta-da! You're correct! Once again, you can visit New Island, so please take this opportunity to get along with everyone. Huh? I ain't going. What a drag. Ah. Even if we go to the New Island, it's not like we're going to find some way to escape this place, right? Rather, I feel as though an opportunity to kill increases every time we go to a New Island. So it might be best if we don't go. I don't know what you're planning, Fiend, but we're not going to fall for it. Th that's that's a misunderstanding. I was just... Jeez, how annoying. Just stay back and leave the rest of your big brother. Are you going to make a rule? Is that what you're going to do? I'll give you an example of how to lure these guys to you, little sis. What are you doing? You're acting like we're allies or something.
There, now that I've mopped up that annoying one. Okay, since you guys are feeling down in the dumps, I'll make sure you guys are so excited your noses will bleed. Compared to the earlier investigations, I've prepared a special treat that's completely different than before. Treat? Oh, you took the bait? Guess it's true. If you want to get a shut-in out of the room, carrots work the best. Who the fuck cares about carrots? Hurry up and tell us what the treat is. It's an amazing carrot. I mean, treat. Don't wet your pants. Well, it's okay if you do. Just don't spray it on me. I've prepared a bunch of stuff you guys might find interesting on the new island. Such as clues about the future foundation. Such as parts that may be useful for making a ship. And also, your student profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Huh? So, do your best to explore. Take care! How much do you want to bet nothing like that's on the island? What should we do? Our only option is to go, obviously. We won't be able to go home if we have ship parts. I plan to go too. If there are clues about the Future Foundation, we need to make sure we see them. What about you, Hajime? Of course you're going, right? If you look at your student profile, you might be able to find out what your shining talent is. <laughs> it's a chance for you to clear up any suspicions, right? What suspicions? I don't think anyone here has doubt I don't think anyone here doubts me. Especially because I'm the one who's been like single handedly doing the investigations and figure out who it is. What it ah, I see. But if there's a clue about my talent, I want to know what it is. The reason Hope Speak Academy chose me. The talent I possess. These things matter to me. There's no way I'm not. Uh, there's no way I'm not worried about it. It seems you've all prepared yourself for the worst. That means we're gonna go, right? If everyone's going, I shall accompany you as well. But there's also a possibility that Monokuma set a trap. We should be careful where we step. I can't help stop thinking about the ancient ruin that might hold clues about the future foundation. But we should start exploring the new island. May you rest in peace. Hyoko uses them as decoration, but Hyoko's no longer... No, not just her. Even Ibuki and Mikan. I won't accept any more victims. I'll definitely prevent that from happening. I forget. Am I on... Am I on Island 4? I think this is what I need. The Monobisa was blocking the switch spirit all of a sudden. Okay, I've been wondering this for a while, but... How is something as pathetic as Monobi able to defeat a Monobisa? Like this! <laughs> No, it'd just be a waste of time to think about something like that. It's useless to think about things that are a waste of time. I've learned that much during my time here. Everyone's so mean to Monami. As I walked across the, new, the bridge, I started to see the scenery on the new island across the other side. We're in Disneyland. It's like this whole island is one giant amusement park. Looks fun, amazing, exciting, thrilling. You sure are right, Hajime. Alright, well, uh, let's take a look around, see the sights. It's like a building out of a fairy tale, minus the creepy looking train. I don't really understand this concept. What kind of attraction is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be a cute looking train, but the design totally ruins it. Rawr! Welcome to the Found House! Fun House? With the train I'm conducting, I shall take you all to the Fun House! Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. Then there's no way I'm riding that thing! Rah, rah, rah! You'd never be able to ride it anyway. You know, in order to get the fun house, all of you had to all of you guys had to run ride this train. All of us. If you want to try to get to the fun house, you gotta assemble everyone here. 
Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by them. Okay, we're not talking about that again. This obviously smells fishy. This is clearly a trap. I've decided I'm never going to ride this thing. Kamina, what's up? Where are we supposed to find clues about the Future Foundation in an amusement park? How about you? Did you find anything? Like your school profile, maybe? Am I not going to say anything? Uh. Oh! Ch when did you get here? I feel like this amusement park is missing something. That's not the problem here. I mean, it's supposed to be an amusement park, but it's not even an arcade. When you go to an amusement parks with your friends, do you just ditch them to go play video games? No. No? That's rude. I make sure to choose competitive puzzle games or shooting games that we can all play together. Hmm. Well, if I had any friends, that is. My heart. Hmm? My heart. That, that hurt. Chalky, you have friends. You have a friend in us. Everyone watching loves you, except for the people who don't. But we don't talk about them. They're heathens. There's even a roller coaster here. Well, obviously, since it's an amusement park. Rawr, too bad. Still under maintenance. The ride isn't intense enough that yet, so I'm in the middle of powering up like crazy. I don't think you need to do that. It's not like anyone's going to ride that anyway. No, no, don't say that. I've also prepared a prize for you. You're planning to bait us with a prize. Uh, again. Anyway, please enjoy the other attraction first. I'll make sure I finish the maintenance by then. Alright. Oh, hey, Connie. Haha. -ha. You thought you could hide? Fool. Yahoo! A roller coaster. Roller coasters are the only reason to go to amusement parks. There's nothing like a good thrill ride. Apparently it's still under maintenance, but I'll be I'll be in first in line to ride it as soon as it's fixed. That's what I say about the amusement park out here, because they haven't done any maintenance on it for like a hundred years. It's rickety and dangerous. Like the oldest coaster here. And for some reason, they don't want to do any maintenance on it. Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. Nazumi Castle. Sony's going to be here. The amusement park's castle. It's mouse themed. There's lots of different things I can say about this building, but I probably shouldn't say anything at all. Uh. What? Mice are the only thing I can't handle. Who cares? <laughs> you too? You don't like mice either? Yeah. Well, we're siblings after all. Yeah. No, not mice. I don't like them. Yeah. What a couple of loudmouths. I feel like my stress level just keeps rising around them. Oh, hey lads. What's up? You thought you could hide? Alright. Kazuichi, what's up? This building is full of dangerous areas. I feel like I should say something about it. Wow, what a coincidence. I was just thinking the same thing. Well, no matter how fancy it is, it's got nothing on Miss Sonia's castle. After all, she's the real deal. Miss Sonia's 100% pure princess is losing a 100% pure castle. Don't talk so confidently about a castle you've never seen before. It might just be a really big house. Which wouldn't be bad, just... Calling a castle would be a stretch. Yeah, I was just wondering. Is a mere human like you going to offer his opinion to me, an overlord? Fascinating. Fascinating, you fiend. I'll play your game, you rogue. Come, tell me. Try to satisfy my four dark devas of destruction. That's right. Those hamsters could probably pass for mice, right? So maybe you can defeat Monokuma and Monami with your hamsters. I already told you, hamsters are merely the temporary form. Being like he was incapable of imagining what would happen once they shed their tr their transient guises. <laughs> Ignorance is horrendous. That's why it's only interesting to converse with humans once in a while. 
He gave some roundabout excuse that makes no sense, but my guess is he doesn't want to put them in danger. Good guy, Gundam. Good guy. Mecha Mario, what are you doing? Hey, are you okay? There's a strange mechanical sound coming from your body. No, I guess it's okay. Since he's a robot, it makes sense that he makes mechanical noises now. I think Hajime is close to, like, just getting his mind broken. He just... he can't deal anymore. That sound means I'm feeling emotionally charged right now. I see. Your body makes noises based on your feelings. Alright. <laughs> Just now, I have activated a new function. Huh? A new function? Is it flight? Can you finally fly? You know, honestly, that would be the question I'd be asking in this situation. Now then, prepare yourself. <laughs> you have a clock. So it's 8.20 in the morning. Okay, I feel like these are all going to be important things I need to remember. A cuckoo clock? Don't compare him to one of those everyday clocks. This is a highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock? Uh... It's a type of clock that receives radio signals, so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. Ooh. That's right, it's a clock that'll never slow down. It's even designed so it can't be adjusted. <laughs> I have become a Time Lord. You don't have a TARDIS. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. That Monokuma, he's definitely toying with people's bodies. Yeah. Well, let's go to the door, I guess. It's locked. Maybe a bunch of mice are pressed up against the other side of the door. Just thinking about it, it's too awful. I feel like this is the, the setup to Plague Innocence. No, not mice! No, not mice, they're gonna shoot through my ears again! Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Anything else? Any people hiding? No? Goodbye. Do -do. Oh, the horror house! There's a creepy looking building that doesn't seem like it belongs in an amusement park. Is it supposed to be a haunted house? I don't really understand it, but this island certainly feels festive. If Yoko and Ibuki were here, they would have definitely enjoyed this. You're right. What the hell? What is wrong with this island? Why is this here when they're forcing us to kill each other? This is in such bad taste. So this is the Monomi house, and it's called the Shitimi. The sign at the top of the building definitely says Horror House, but it's like whatever building used to be here was converted into a haunted house or something. So this used to be your house? Ever since he took away my magic stick, Monokuma's been doing whatever he pleases. I've been reduced to the role of an unwanted child. My influence is weaker than it's ever been. And not just that, look what he did to my house! This is too much. There's nothing good about this at all. If this keeps up, history will remember me as the greatest character to have ever become a one-shot punchline. <laughs> uh, Hajime, you were here? You didn't notice until now. How <laughs> terrible me as your teacher to cry in front of one of your students. The haunted house over there. Is that your house? <laughs> it was, but Monokuma kept bullying me and it ended up like this. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to be cute. My house was supposed to be cute. Uh, you can't. I understand you're interested, but you can't go inside. Even teachers have a private side that the students aren't allowed to see. Also, you're a boy of a certain age. If you come inside, I'll make sure to leave the door open halfway. Otherwise, my mommy won't shut up about it. But what am I saying? It's just a what-if scenario, okay? Look, I like you and all, but I'm not gonna fuck the rabbit. 
Anyway. Oh, right. I think it's time I'm headed over to the roller coaster. Ah. It's really weird how small these places are. Oh, I know. This isn't the roller coaster. Whoops a daisy, that was my bad. Oh, everyone's here. Ew. Everybody here? Hey, wanna know something cool? According to Monokuma, we'll all get a treat if we ride the roller coaster together. Oi, oi. I'm not riding that thing. Didn't I tell you? I get crazy car seat sick. Since when? Rawr! Welcome! Welcome to the main attraction of this amusement park, the del the Great Ultra Delicious Coaster. No, no. Is it really true we'll get a prize for riding this? Sure thing. What's the prize? Ah, oh, no. This spot's a surprise for after you ride this. Do we really have to ride this together? Did I tell you already? Are those ears for decoration? No, I'm not going to do it. Now, now, it's going to be fine. The thrill rides are sweet. Everyone who likes them always says that, but I already know they're not fun at all. But there's a possibility that the prize is going to be those ship parts, you know? That that might be true, but... Might I ask where this ride will take us? It won't take us anywhere. It's going to circle around and come back here. What's the meaning behind that? You fiend. Have you never gone to an amusement park? I'm embarrassed to say that we don't have these in my country. I see. I've only gone to an amusement park once during my childhood. But it was an amusement park in hell filled with man-eating demons. There are amusement parks in hell? I've never heard such a thing. By all means, please allow me to accompany you next time. Don't do it, Miss Sonia. That guy has a habit of lying. The entrance fee is the blood of a virgin. I shall offer you up your blood as tribute. Oh, that's the same. It seems my blood can't be used as the entrance fee. Sonia? Hey, everyone. It's just going to be a waste of time when we stand around like this. We're just going to leave that hanging in the air? Why don't we just try riding it? Hold on. Why do I just, just try riding it? Nakamaru, can I leave this to you? You know, I, I love the fact that they all hate him. But uh, yet at the same time, they work with him pretty well. <laughs> but despite his desperate struggling, Kazuichi got stuffed into the roller coaster. All aboard the Great Ultra Delicious Coaster! With Monokuma's shout, the roller coaster took off at a maximum speed. First of all, we're going to talk about uh, Mecha Mario in the back. He's losing a bunch of bolts. Then there's Chiaki, looking happy. This is really nice. Why wouldn't they put him in the back, though, if he was just going to throw up? Also, Nagito looked like he was having fun. Alright, we've arrived. How was it? Wasn't that fun? So, it's finally over. That was a little too intense. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go on it one more time. Yes. I agree. One mo Once more. <laughs> hey, more importantly, where's our treat? Oh, yeah, right. Here you go. Treat is a file. Huh? The symbol. It's the same symbol that's on the door of the ancient ruin. So, if so, this file must be a file from the future foundation. 
We'll be able to find out who they are if we look at this. Mm. Is it alright if I check inside? Da, da. Sure thing, do whatever you like. We gathered around Nagito as we received the file. And stared at him intensely as he carefully turned the pages. Hope's Peak Academy ironically became the site of the for the killing school life. The mastermind behind the plan locked the students inside the academy and forced them to kill each other. The students who were pushed to the limit eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia. And that's how the killing began. The killings committed by the students lasted several days. But at a certain point, the curtain suddenly fell. A group of students united and staged a counterattack against the mastermind who paid with their life. With this, the six students who survived were able to escape the academy. Hey, aren't these photos on the left? Photos of the six people who survived? Then what does this mean? Why is he in this photo? He? I looked down at where Nagito was pointing. Oh, Byakuya! He was much thinner, as if he was an extremely different person. But he looked exactly like someone we knew. The ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. He looked exactly like him, the first victim on this island. This definitely looks like Byakuya. Why is Byakuya's photo in here? This... what does this mean? Like, what's the skilling cool... What's this killing school trip that they're talking about? It was like the killings were involved in resembled a set of killings that happened before. And that took place inside Hope's Peak Academy. Hold on. Did these fucked up killings actually happen inside THE Hope's Peak Academy? That's not possible. There's no way the teachers or the police would let that happen. However, what if the future foundation, World Ender, was the one who initiated this? You mean that organization that was the one who took over Hope's Peak Academy, then? That's not possible! How stupid! If Byakuya were still alive, we would have been able to learn the details of this. How unfortunate. However, we lost our memories, correct? That should have applied to Byakuya as well. Also, Byakuya never said a word about such a past actually existing. Well, he was killed before he could. So he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this? Perhaps that's what Byaku was planning to talk to me about. Serving others and being distrusted by them for a long time in my life has been a living hell. Was he specifically referring to this killing school life? Mm. Anyway, as long as Byaku is no longer with us, we have no choice but to ask Monokuma. How does this killing school life that occurred at Hope's Academy relate to this island? I know the only thing I can say is... All the answers are in your school memories that were taken away. Then give them back. Give the memories back. No, no, the Future Foundation took your memories, and I can't do anything about it in my current state. Regardless, it's unforgivable. I'll never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. This isn't making any sense. How fucking annoying. Whatever, man, just let me go back home. Where the hell are the ship parts? Oh, who knows? They should be somewhere on this island. I've searched the island once, though. But I did not find ship parts anywhere. No. The fun house should still be left. Based on what I've heard, it seems we can't access it unless we've all gathered together, correct? Ding ding! Correct! That's right, the treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the fun house. No, not just the ship parts. If he means all the trips, or all the... The treats. That also includes our Hope Speak Academy student profiles. Which means a clue about my talent should be there. It might be a trap, but it's like we we're already caught in a trap. Then, everybody, let's go. Let's try going to the funhouse. I see. Is that really alright? The funhouse is that creepy looking building, right? But we have no other choice. I mean, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there. <laughs> and learn the secret of Hajime's talent, too. 
Fine. I think we should listen to Hajime and head over to the fun house as well. Looks like you guys have decided. I have things to prepare, so I'll be going first. I'll see you later. I'm not really on board with this idea, but if everyone says they're going to go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everybody. Plunging yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. That's what makes it truly interesting. Then it's decided. Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from the Future Foundation file, but I was panicking. I couldn't keep still after being forced to see more mysteries that didn't make any sense. I felt like I didn't even care if it was a trap. And because of that panic, I completely forgot. Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. I'm not really on board with this idea, but if everyone says they're going to go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. Now let's hurry up and go. Looks like the answers you're looking for are where the tra that train's headed. Well, as a resident princess, uh, what do you say? This attraction is quite unsettling. I wonder if it's all right. Let's go. Gundam, you protect your girlfriend, okay? I just need to get on this train, right? Well, there's no really need to be cautious. It's not like it's going to speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. I'm going to believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. Alright, let's go. As soon as we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving and went inside the dim tunnel. They all look like they're having fun. Uh, what the hell? As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft like mo mollusks. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> 